Keep in mind that helping to break the siege will give you a ton of experience points and, as well, a ton of gold from the goblins themselves. And goblins carry pretty much everything they have with them on their backs, so it's a good way to make some money. Also, instead of healing up at the inn, I'm going to... Uh, no, wait, he's unconscious. What might be better off is if I take a moment out, hand some potions off to her. Success! Success! There we go. Because if you heal somebody whenever they're in the unconscious condition, it'll cost five times more gold than it would just healing them like this. Do you need medical attention? Take care! I honestly think that you could rest without any sort of penalty or any whatnot. I don't think that the timer for important events has yet begun. But, hey, you know, it's not that very expensive, and it might save me a little bit on my score later on. For what it's worth. Which isn't much. Cast. <laughs> Wizard Eye. And as you can see, there's a bunch of sparks and a bunch of dead goblins, because the goblins don't know how to control their own traps. Meaning they fry their own troops, which often happens. It happens quite a lot. Ow! Carry you. Let's try climbing up this hillside, see if we can't get a good vantage point to shoot them at. No, you're gonna take some time falling down the hillside slowly. It happens, there's not much you can do about no it. No problem. Oh, and I fell down pretty fast there. Ow! Ow! Boy, die already, would you? Ow! Someone help! Man, that hurts. Ow! I'm bad. Eep. That's the thing, they always focus on your cleric. Ow! Ow! Smart god like that. Ow! Ow! And we'll use a potion of healing real quick. Bring him around. There we go. It barely hurts. Ow! And again with the healing up. Whoa, we got somebody else here that is down over there. It barely hurts. And I'm going to have to run off to heal pretty soon here, because it's turning nightfall. Venturing at nightfall without at least expert level torchlight is probably a bad idea. Night Gaunt's going to get you. It barely hurts. Oi. There we go. Ow! Ow! And the rounds of combat should get them off. Too easy. There we go. A winner is us. We'll loot up, and we'll get out of here, because it is turning pretty dark out. And also, make sure to loot up your own fellow guardsmen corpses. It's better than leaving it out there for the other goblins and other brigands and whatnot to take. And night has fallen completely on us, so I'm going to head back to the tavern and rest. 
Better off to adventure whenever it's light out. Come in, come in. Rent room for two gold. Enjoy your stay. And it's daylight once more. Also, you get a you get a decent amount of experience for defeating them. It's nothing to write home about, but mainly it gives you more gold and it'll give you a bit more experience with how to work with the system. Because at this point in the game, you're not expected to do amazing uber heroic feats. Not that we haven't done them per se, it's just <laughs> and notice how there's dead goblins on all four sides of the fort. The reason for this is because they pretty much killed their own troops. Careful. There we go. Up here we go. Ow! I. And we'll finish off this one. Now you might be wondering what all these little buttons are for. Well... First off, let me cast Wizard Eye. And peek down here. There's a hatch. There's a chest. What happens? Oh dear, we're being attacked, aren't we? Well, if you push these buttons... They cast Fireball, and that Fireball blows up a lot of them. Ow! And before you get overrun, the idea is to blow them to Kingdom Come with this. It's a fun way of going about things. And head down here and help out your guards. Oh dear. Man barely hurts. Man barely hurts. Ow! Ha! You shall not have died in vain, for I will pick your pockets. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and make sure you stay away from those little hole places, because those shoot out sparks. And getting shot with sparks is a bad thing. You notice that clicking the buttons does that. It does one of the variety of effects. That's the reason why these goblins are standing up here. If you charge them blindly, you'll have a good chance of killing yourself. It's kind of fun that they did what they did with like this little fort mentality here. And hey, we still got a couple soldiers surviving all that. How'd that happen? I don't know. Cast heal. <laughs> creatures. Again with heal. But as you should be able to see by now, the game seems to be pretty fun, man. It seems to have a lot of, you know, stuff that isn't really necessary, but it's greatly appreciated. And at this point in time, you didn't really see too many fortress kind of battles like that, you know what I mean? Where you could throw out traps and whatnot. Also, you may note that our swordsman is hurt. Well, what do we do with a hurt, with a hurt swordsman? Why, we cast heal on him. Notice that his HP is now yellow. If we cast heal on him a second time, he's almost completely recovered. Too easy. Just be careful you don't accidentally shoot your own soldier. Man barely hurt. Man barely hurts. There we go. So yes, you can hurt your you can heal allies as well as hurt them if you so desire. And you may very well so desire because killing your troops will mean that they are around to help you out. If you should need to run from trouble, you can run to them and they'll try to bail you out, or at least die trying. 
And that's the thing. I mean, you're seeing all this new stuff. You're seeing how the improvements on the graphics, and believe me, they are improvements on the graphics. I mean, I can't tell what they were talking about whenever they're complaining about 3D heads over photorealistic 